on a show where I actually like the people I work with. That yeah. is so rare in the television <laughs> world. So, so welcome to my home. Uh, we're having a bit of a party, or maybe Carson, this is your world. This is so my home. Come this on is now. Your, this is, this this is perfect totally. for me. Look at it. So Beautiful. Cozy. The, we got the check going on. The buffalo. Uh, you know the the buffalo we got stripes. Wine and cheese. We have help wine yourself. And cheese. Thank you. So basically, yeah, go have some wine and some oh, cheese. Awesome. So we're okay, going to talk yourself. a little bit about Thank how more you. and more people are bringing natural elements into their space. Yes. And I'm a fan of it, provided it's ethical. I love right. it when there's ethical choices that are being made. Things like leathers and hides. And, oh. and this is why Mama said I can't have nice things. There goes <laughs> the wine. All right. Well, oh, you know, these are the types person. of things that happen. I mean, yeah. we're not worried about it because I come prepared. <laughs> Ladies, you want the mask and clean it up. Clean it. Get out of my house. Today, more about how we're going to clean up the mess after your guests leave on yes. these type of materials. Is it time Thanks, ladies. You're yeah, you're done. You yeah, guys yeah. are good. It You've done the damage. Left, and they what? left the wine. <laughs> they left the wine. <laughs> Which this is, is what you don't want to happen. You don't want to have friends over. Things get a little rowdy. You've had a good time. People spill. People are going to spill. You don't want to be the host that's like, oh, it's fine. It's okay. You want it to really be fine and okay. Absolutely. Because you've got to be the gracious host in this situation. 100%. And in that sort of situation, don't worry about it, we're good, we've pre-treated. And nice. I actually pre-treated everything. So you're good. starting to see more and more products out there that are actual pre-treatments. And you just spray them on, wipe it off, soaks in, especially for leathers, for hides, even for okay. things like wood materials, which I love. I mean, there were some that we had in the 80s, but the technology has gotten so much more advanced with the silicons and stuff, the binding agents. So yes. you can get these types of things. Look for ones designed for outdoors. Outdoors That's are fantastic right. for pillows, all that type of stuff. Now, uh -huh. Tracy, I've actually sprayed down the leather here. Yes. Okay. Everything's treated. The hide was treated, so we don't have to worry about it. But can you feel any coating? You can't feel any coating. And no. a lot of people would say, listen, it's a leather couch. Who cares? No, treat it still. Absolutely. Right? Because you would think you can wipe almost anything off leather, but if you treat it, you've got that extra layer of protection. And that's the big misconception that people have. People think that natural elements like this will withstand more of the stains. Yeah. Not necessarily true. Got so it. you know if it happens, you clean it up as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. But what do you do about the stains that you didn't notice until after your guests have left? Or until know. the next morning? Because that's usually when I notice these things. That's right. Around 12 p.m. when you wake up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about how to clean the things that are already set because okay. there are some things that we're doing wrong. So first of all, I'm going to pull up this piece of wood here. Now, this is live edge and you're starting to see a lot more live edge in homes, on coffee tables. This is actually even a shelf. So you're yeah. seeing a lot more of this. Often they have the very heavy glassy coating. Mm -hmm. That glassy coating does nothing to protect it. Okay. Really? So yeah, so if you have a live edge table like this with the heavy glassy coating, you have to have things like coasters. You must put out coasters because red wine will absolutely penetrate into this mm. through that glassy coating. And when it does, there's very little you can do. And let okay? me tell you, the live edge pieces are not cheap. They're not you're cheap. going to want to protect that. The other thing you want to do is when you're trying to clean the live edge, because you don't want to rip off the bar, because that's yeah. part of what makes it beautiful. Yes. You're looking for microfiber or cloths. The microfiber doesn't snag the same way, and you can get in and clean out some of that pate or, you know, wherever the spray <laughs> cheese, if that was cheese. that kind of party. Yeah. The okay. best cleaning agent for this, not wood polish, okay. it's vinegar. Yeah. Vinegar is a natural antibacterial. It's amazing. You can put it on there, it won't hurt the wood, okay? okay. So use vinegar, water it down if a little bit if you're concerned, but that's what's going to help you remove it and make it uh, bacterial free. You're such a stain okay. master. That's I so a, good. I love my natural material, yeah, so I no, want to look really after good. them. Right. Vinegar. So let's, let's move on to leather. Because leather, yeah. again, when you're talking about investment, leather is one of the, the most expensive ones, right? Yep. So leather furniture has a few different things that are going on. Obviously, when people put things like vinegar-based materials like some of the ammonia-based, mm -hmm. it actually will strip the natural mm -hmm. materials out of this. We don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So to put it back in, use a little hemp seed oil, okay? Oh, Just okay. a little hemp seed oil. I'm going to use my microfiber cloth here. You're going to put a little bit on. Yeah, you can do it with just a touch of vinegar because you want to remove the bacterial again that's forming. Mm -hmm. You're going to rub it in, mm -hmm. and then you're going to buff it out about a day later. Okay. okay? And that's going to give you back your shine, your nice soft suppleness, which is what you're looking for. Even if this were a light leather, you should try it, right? Like a cream colored leather, the leather and ivory leather. Yeah, and don't be panicked right away because it's going to come out dark at the beginning. But yeah. as it dries, it's going to disappear. It's okay. going to remove. Okay. Good to if know. you've got, speaking of light leather, light leather is one of the worst ones for stains because it never fails. Butterscotch leather, yes. white, absolutely yes. gorgeous. If you have a stain on there, 
Let's say somebody had something on their pants or maybe a little bit of lipstick or something that actually got in there. Jeans. Ink. Jeans. Jeans. Ink. Sometimes the yeah. denim, right? A dark denim. So one of the easiest things to do is cuticle remover. Oh, really? Yeah, non-gel cuticle remover. Okay. Put it a little bit on a cotton swab. Yeah. And you're going to test it first on the back side of the sofa to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. But you're actually going to put it on to the spot, leave it overnight, a little bit of vinegar again and the, yes. the linseed oil to remove it, a little soapy water. We'll remove it, takes the spot right out. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. You have to be so patient. You do. That's where I get go wrong with the stains. I'm like, a little bit of OxyClean, if it doesn't work, forget it. Yeah. You can't use it anymore. You have to be patient and then re, you know, retreat it the next day and figure that all, all out. Absolutely. Now, as a kid, mm -hmm. I was kind of bad. You bad And boy. I decided that the beautiful white leather sofa that my parents bought was a perfect canvas for markers. Oh, so I drew a nice little picture. Yeah. I now know, we didn't at the time, we actually got rid of it. Yeah. Nail polish remover takes off markers and pens from leather. Oh. Dab it on, remove it, wipe it off, very easy. Very good. Very simple. All right, hides. And again, yeah. we're seeing more of them as they're part of the ethical process of, you know, harvesting meat. We're starting yeah. to see more hides, head to tail usage of the animal, which is, good if you're in that route. Sure. You're going to clean it with 5% vinegar, 95% mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. and you're going to use a cat brush. Oh yeah. And you're going to brush it back out to bring it back its luster and in, in the in the finish that you bought it for in the first place. Okay. Okay. You've covered all the natural materials. Easy so now easy. we're ready to party at Carson's place. He's got it under control. Open invite? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and Carson, the, the furniture, uh, some of the pieces are from Hearth Manor, so thank you so much for that. Really good tips.